and let's make this initially off. I just unchecked it, by the way, and make this a new event. I mean, yeah, new event uh, timer periodic, and this is going to be very quick, 0.05 uh, seconds of game time. So it's going to be a very fast running thing. And so I don't know if if you did this with like eight players, this this tutorial, if you made like a map with eight players, I don't know if it would lag because we have to do things so quickly because we're not given any tools to do uh, to do it without uh, running every point. 0 0.05 seconds. Um, but anyways, let's do this variable, set variable. So what we're doing is when the player holds down the right mouse, we want the camera to um, we want the camera to be turnable and then we want the unit to follow where it's turning. So what I'm doing is I'm going to set the run angle to equal um, the camera camera yaw. So as we rotate our camera around, our run angle of our unit's going to be updated. And uh, let's do another thing. Actually, I'm going to do a copy-paste from here. This one is what we want to do. Um, order Dark Templar to turn, targeting offset. Yeah, offset by running. So this is exactly what we want. We don't have to change anything. We want them to just face this angle that we just set, or that it's going to get set. And now we have to change this to turn... Uh, turn that uh, unit facing the camera right. Yeah, so now it'll turn it on and the guy will keep facing. And now we want to do an end condition. So F2 to rename, cam, right, end. And here let's set it to up. So when they release the right mouse key. Um, and we don't want the, condi the local variable, I mean. Uh, okay, whatever. Get rid of those. Uh, I think we can get rid of that too. So we want to turn our our unit facing trigger off because now they've let go of their right mouse. And we want to turn these off as well. Okay, and let's save. Good. And now let's do left mouse. Left mouse is pretty easy because it, your unit doesn't face with you. It's just to look around. Uh, cam left start. So any player presses left, and like I said, change this to a specific player. Um, if you're doing more players or whatever, you'd have to do this for each one, unfortunately. Uh, get rid of the local variable, okay. And get rid of these, 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 that. And what we want to do is just turn these on, that's good. And let's just copy the end so it saves us time. And then cam left end. And now for the end, we want to change this to a left mouse. And I did make this left mouse, right? Yeah, that's good. It's left mouse up. And get, just make sure we don't do that. And save. And so we want to just turn them off again. So left mouse will sort of just be looking around, whereas right mouse will make the unit face with you. Um, they're pretty similar, but slightly different. Uh, OK. And so now we can do our actual uh, movement movement uh, detection. So let's do W start. So this is when the player will press, I'm just copy pasting, when the player will uh, press down the W key and it's a key pressed. So player, any player presses the W key down and uh, no conditions. All we want to do is do a variable oops not a not a modify variable we want to do a set variable sorry about that um, we want to set our w on to equal true okay so now it's a lot of now now it's the time to do a lot of copy pasting so f2 w end player presses the w key up so they release w now we got to turn this off Okay. Actually, I'll just copy one. So now we got to do A start. Any player presses the A key down. Make sure you set it to down. Check your triggers after you do this part because I made some mistakes. And set A on to equal true. And copy paste. A end. Player, any player presses the A key up. 
set aon to equal false. Okay, and now let's do uh, w start. I'll just copy that. S start. Okay, player any player presses the S key down. Set S on to equal true. And F2 and set S end here. Okay, presses the S key up. Sorry, this is boring, but it's got to be done this way. And I did set this right. Yeah, true. Right. And now let's do the D key. D start. And here, let's select D. Down, good. And this has got to be D on. F2, D, end. And I'm just copy-pasting here, then F2 to rename, and then I click back in here, and this has got to be up. And this has got to be false. There we go. Okay, I'm saving. And now we actually have to do our similar similar thing to this, where we have to run really quickly um, while this W is on or whatever. Um, so let's make a new trigger and call it run. Or you can call it unit r move movement. That's more clear, I guess. And make a new event. And we're just going to run every 0.1 seconds so not as not as quick as our this thing here but it's still pretty quick it's going to be running a lot of times because we need to make it responsive to the player um, so new action and this is just going to be a straight out if condition and here we go and this part took me a while to figure out so it's not like I just came up with this on the spot you know I spent a while making this tutorial um, but I'm just relaying it to you guys in notes, as I said, so it might not appear too clear right now, but it will make sense uh, later, hopefully. Um, actually, we want to change this to an and, because we want... And, and means uh, that everything in the conditions has to be true for it to pass the test. So the test it's going to have to pass is that our variable w is on, variable w is true, so player is holding down w but they're not holding down A, so false for A, and they're not holding down D, and they're not holding down w, uh, S. So this means, these conditions, all these have to be true because we put this AND here and then we put these inside it, and so if our W is on, meaning the player is holding down W, um, and the rest are false, it means we want the unit to walk forward. So in our action here, um, new action, we want to do a unit issue order. Order uh, Dark Templar guy, there he is. And we want to click this little thing and order targeting a point. And we want to, this time we want to do a move, not a turn. This one right here. We want to move targeting and another polar offset. There we go. And the point is going to be from our unit position. So where we are standing now, uh, where our Dark Templar is standing now, offset by, and I just worked this number out, you can play around with it, but 0.5 seemed to be good. 0.5 towards our, uh, well, it should be towards our run angle, but there's a small bug where if it's exactly run angle, um, it, your guy won't move if you're holding down right mouse at the same time and I'm just gonna do a small little fix right now that you can you thank me for later if uh, you went in game and it didn't work properly and now we just pick our run angle plus just a very tiny amount so it just has to be slightly off degrees for running forward um, for some reason I don't know why but just do it like this and you won't have any bugs um, and anyways and then after this we want to do a general skip remaining actions because um, the player is probably only going to be holding these at once, so we don't need to go through the rest of, of the if statements. So it was because um, we're going to be copy pasting this and doing some more conditions.